Okay, well, we're gonna kind of get into a little bit what I was getting into last time. I really just wish I could be, have Joe here or someone here working on the trucks making videos. That's what I really wanna do. Like, it's like the thing that I'm the best at doing, but I'm also kind of like a organization freak. So this place drives me crazy with trying to make everything look nice here. I really, really am trying my absolute hardest. And to show that, if you remember what I was doing here last time, I was cleaning these containers out and trying to organize them. Well, there's all the super bad seats. I have them stacked actually super nicely somehow. I have no idea how they went together so nicely in that pile, but they did. And it's got a partially rip. Eh, it's all right. That strap will hold. So this thing, dude, this thing's been here since I started here. It's a Dibco front grill for like an old milk truck. And apparently it's worth a lot of money, but uh, we've been unable to sell it. You can see I even, at one point probably had it. I think we brought this to the first car lot that I was at and I was trying, I had it priced, but okay, we'll show you what we got over here now. When you see this, it's gonna be like night and day. Okie dokie. So, that's what it looks like now. So real quick, hold you like this. Okay, so these are all the seats. They were all piled up at one point, all of them. Now they're all laying on the one side of the container. There's this engine that was underneath of pretty much all these seats and or seat cushions. All of this. This is burying these two engines actually. Now, can I actually determine? This one's a probably Chevy small block. I can tell that by the valve covers. This one's straight, what, straight six? Dude, I am still learning this stuff. Please don't judge me too hard. I'm trying, all right? If I'm told what it is, I'll remember what it is. But, so I'm gonna grab one of those boxes, I think, to put all the other small boxes that I'm cutting up currently into. Because we're always looking for packing material. So these, believe it or not, these boxes, what do you think were in these boxes? I'm gonna wait, let you guess. Just look at them. Okay, if you haven't guessed yet, there was actually bikes in these boxes so one day i took the s10 down to a bike store in pittsburgh and i was like hey do you guys have any boxes oh it says bicycles it's a giant bicycle right there actually now i can see it but yeah they gave me what what do i have seven of these boxes so that was pretty neat and those are all seats for the most part that's gas thing but um some gt wheels here for a mustang i think these are valve covers for a mustang if i remember correctly there's some more seats here, seats actually without the cushions, just some extra stuff, put all the trim in the garbage can at one point, now it is holding trim. That had trim in it already, but not all just straight spears like it does. Now this, these are all the fenders, front and rear, stacked, and I have them strapped right now, which would hold, I think, if the shipping container didn't still need to be moved. Now, am I, I'm anticipating these to fall, probably, once this thing moves. Now, they've all fallen once already since I was doing this. And, I mean, it took me probably 10 minutes to redo it like this again. So, I'm not too worried if they fall. So, I started hanging all these grates, or whatever you want to call them. These metal, I'm going to call them grates, on the walls to start hanging up just like random miscellaneous stuff that I find. That's all up. I'm, I think I noticed that I probably could put another one in between those two. Not that one unless it's straight up, but go. I'm thinking about going down this whole wall with those. I have enough of them, but I don't have enough S hooks. I need more of those things. Like some of them I have taped together two and two that hold up the grates because I anticipated to put some heavy stuff on them. But, Okay, that's the one container. So this is the container that originally held everything. And now, there's a nice little walk path down. All right, so just some little leftovers. I'm not really 
tag in any of that stuff. Most of that's actually already tagged, but okay, here's the second container. So notice, put a nice little shelf in here just to hold miscellaneous stuff. This one doesn't have to get moved. So I'm not really sure if I'm gonna keep that strap, ratchet strap all the way down there like it is, but look at this right now. All these tailgates, fleet side, Chevy fleet side. This GMC tailgate is apparently really expensive. All the Dodges are in this line right here, Dodges are older. I think these are newer, but shittier, just Chevy gates, shitty Ford gate. All our international gates are all lined up. Same with the Datsun ones. That's a really nice GMC gate right there. 55 to 59 GMC. We only have one of them. So that must be a rare gate. Bunch of short, these are, but 47 to 53 Chevy 3100 gates. So got a bunch of those there too. This one is super rare. Look, pre 47 GMC, very rare. You can't even tell it says GMC, but it's like a very unique GMC symbol there. But yeah, they're all the way down here. Got a lot of these Chevy gates, a lot, a lot. And it's just held on by the chain at the end. But then, yeah, then it comes to this, this massive wall. I'm just gonna walk down it. Of all these grills, all hung on the wall now. There's a great line going right down here. And there's just some random last couple parts there. So this is the new one. So I'm gonna finish with hanging them down the side. I have one more spot for one of them grates to put up. I don't know, it's just nice being able to come in here and just like look at everything. Like whenever somebody comes to try and buy something now, I think they're gonna be a little blown away by how everything is so organized. Cause it's usually a wreck. Bunch of running boards there. Like this looks like storefront. I feel like almost. All right, so then we're gonna go over here. So I actually, so this box right here is strictly for Chevy Impala or our fastback boards. This one was a mess too. This one, as you can see, I told you I wasn't gonna empty this one out until I cleared out, finished, was, was done over there. But, so as you can see, look, bunch of fastback Mustang seat parts, bunch of them. We have even more of them over at our other building. Here's some front seats, fastback Mustang. Got some two front fenders over there, hanging up. Those were kind of wonky to hang, but they're up there. Some more front fenders. Actually, no, that one's a rear. And the top one is a front. But yeah. All this stuff is pretty much Mustang stuff. Fastback Mustang stuff. I'm almost 100% sure. Now, this shroud and this were off of our most recent Impala that we had. There's a 62 Chevy Impala convertible. Same with that steering wheel. I'm pretty sure that came out of there too. But the rest of this stuff is all Mustang stuff. And then I put two nice little shelves in here so you got some front headlight holders and stuff for some impala i think that came out of the 62 impala this is the actually center console for the 62 impala that apparently never went back in it but it's already sold but yeah definitely a lot of a lot more organized this is probably the most unorganized part of it is that box, those two boxes right there, three boxes. Cause there's just so many minute, like this box is, look, you can actually tell. I mean, it's just, it is miscellaneous parts, so that's true. But they're pretty much all the same stuff for Mustangs. But then, yeah, got two hoods. Actually, one's a trunk hood for Impala. 62 Impala, I'm pretty sure, honestly, too. You know, front, fast back hood. No scoop, no scoop. But yeah, a lot more organized. Where it, she's like coming along, and then even on this area is all clean, right? All the random scrap stuff is now all put away for the most part. I mean, all this stuff out here now just kind of eventually has to find its way to a home. And under that tape, and that stuff. The, this I might be lifting with the forklift today if I can get it in here or this I need to move these but it's just so crowded in here and I can't move the trailer because our ball attachment broke on the Bobcat so 
this stuff's kind of like pinned in even with this gravel it's just kind of a cluster right now okay so i came up here for a certain reason though so i'm gonna reattach it and we're just gonna continue with the day i guess cutting up boxes and putting them in this big box this is we got it i don't know if you know what a topside creeper is i'll show you when you get down there but we got this for joe and he hasn't used it yet this thing is the top side creeper that I was talking about that Joe doesn't like. Literally got it for him. He hasn't used it a single time. There you go, girly. He's doing it. The cutest little thing. Cute little hood kitty.